a man traveling 100 miles per hour finally hits a dead end after a deadly car chase. Why this man committed three felonies will leave you baffled. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Enjoy. Stop, stop. I'll give commands, Wagus. Keep your hands in the air. Who else is inside the car? It's just me. Okay, perfect. Keep your hands in the air. Spin in a circle slowly. All right, Wagus, I'm going to have him walk back to you. You give him commands from here. Actually, just wait. We're stagnant. We'll wait for another car. Okay, good. Keep your hands up. So, this man gets pulled over. You see his pants are dang near falling off of him. This story of why he was speeding and why he was doing, why he decided to get three felonies is going to leave you in a place of, I cannot believe this. We go through so many stories of watching these individuals get pulled over. And the reason we do this is to see that everybody is different. And we also see that the fear that the police could put in some people's hearts will lead them to do the stupidest things. We're going to move forward a little bit here after the arrest so we can get to his story. Hope you guys enjoy. Go real wide. Well, I guess you go second. I'll go right here. I can't see back seat yet. Back seat's clear. Back seat's clear. All right. Trunk. Trunk button. Yep. Go ahead. Clear. 30 to Monroe. Vehicle is clear. One custody. All right. <laughs> and I want to say this. The reason these cops are so ecstatic and so happy about what happened is this car chase was going off for a while. And he was so hard to see because his car is so dark and he kept flashing his headlights. It was just a very difficult car chase. So these guys are elated that this is finally over. But they also think this is a drug bust because he was driving so fast and trying to get away. That's why they're looking all throughout the vehicle. They really want to know why he did this. But let's go ahead and get right back into the story of why he really did this. Time for it. Thank you. All right. Listen. Hold on, man. I don't know why. Okay, listen. Oh, my gosh. Real quick. The only reason I didn't pull over, bro, I just bought this car, bro. I've been going through hell and back, bro. What's your name, I just man? got my car back, bro. The only reason I didn't get pulled, the only reason I didn't want to pull over, bro, I swear to God, bro. I've been, the Go car, ahead. I have a valid license, and when it pops up, it says invalid for a f***ing insurance ticket. That I, I had insurance. My mom, I was driving my mom quite a time. I'm not a criminal. I just, I just, listen, I didn't want my car. I just wrecked my car, bro. I did all this for that Bro, my dumb ass, bro. I'm so scared of going to jail, bro. I just wrecked listen, my car, bro. Listen, listen. I'm so scared, bro. I listen. just went the car. I just, just went to jail, and no one still had the car. Listen, listen. Oh, I had a car. No, I'm out of jail. Gotta take a couple this is of stuff. Stupid, bro. Can you actually this turn my back seat? Now I know it may seem that this man is very hysterical, um, but apparently he had a panic attack, and if you know what a panic attack feels like, it leaves you saying the weirdest and foolish things. I was so stupid, bro. So, I was so scared, bro. I didn't... What's your first name, man? My name is Kianis, man. Kianis? Okay, Kianis. Do you have I an do... ID inside the car? I have an ID on my pocket. Okay, perfect. Dude, All right, but I want to ask you some questions about what's going on here, but I... Normally, I, won't, I wouldn't let the guy, you guys hear the full story. I normally just give it to you, but this story, you have to hear the full, the fullness and the craziness of why this man decided to commit three felonies by going so fast in three different counties. Bro, I should have just f***ing pulled over, bro. I was, uh, bro, my car, bro. I'm going to turn off your car. Thanks. This s***, I just lost the... Why, bro? Why did I just uh, pull listen, over, Giannis, bro? Giannis, I was so scared. Giannis, bro. I, I got I to gotta do this, okay? So can you just hear me out real quick for a second? Giannis, can you just hear me out for a minute? Listen, I'm I just need you to hear fuck, bro, okay? Bro, I don't even have nothing in the car. So he's going to read the Miranda right so we can stop for a second. Let me say this, guys. The story is going to change so often uh, of why he did it. I honestly don't know which one's real. But there is one I am going to pinpoint because that's the one I love to talk about. So one of the reasons he gives, 
is the reason I'm really going to push hard on it. <laughs> this is, you know, this channel is really for the men and young men. And so you can already guess why you think he might have did it in the one that I'm going to pounce on. Is so, it like, can you just tell me 100% like, yeah, what's I'll, the highest charge of the I'll give it, charge? I'll, I'll give it all. Okay, real what's, quick. What's the highest? I mean, right now you're under arrest for felony looting and, and for three different cases, it sounds like. Out of one out of Eau Claire County, one with, uh, one with me. David here, and then one with me. They're all three different pursuits. Yep. Okay, so here's the one thing, man. Where are you coming from tonight? Where where were you ultimately driving from? You would from? not believe why I'm out here, bro. You would not believe this story I'm doing right now. You hit me you with it. You would not believe this, bro. Hit me with it. My girlfriend, me and my girlfriend broke up, bro. I, I, I see that shit I did mean, bro. And I'm a real person that just, like, I want to keep good connection with my people, bro. My people told me, leave the girl alone, right? Mm -hmm. But me as a good man, I just don't never want to leave off from the bad, like, I with nobody. I'm sorry I look like this to y'all. I'm just a bad guy right now, but... I came out here to Milwaukee, you no, know, to Minneapolis for my girlfriend, and she was out here. She went to go visit her cousin. And my dumb, I said some. Shit. She was mad at me. She was trying to hold it off on me for a long time for me to see her again. I'm like, you don't know when tomorrow's promise. Life is short. I gotta come out there and make it right right now. This sound like some movie. Shit, I swear to God, but on Jesus Christ, this is the truth. I came out here, all my, my, my a bag of weed and just. Came here to say sorry to my girlfriend and tell her I love her, and that and now I don't want her to think I don't love her, and I'm sorry for whatever I did wrong, and like I just came out here to tell my girl I love her. I swear to God, oh Jesus Christ, bro. So you're heading back from Minneapolis? I'm coming back from Minneapolis. Just how, how come you're driving no headlights on it? Why you why are you driving so fast and erratic? What's what's going on with that? It wasn't um the headlights was um. So the story pretty much from that point forward pretty much goes in nowhere. Um, he pretty much just says that. You know, he was afraid he was going to get pulled over because his license was invalid. And then the cops tell him, well, you wouldn't have just gone to jail. And then he's going to ask a bunch of questions of how long he's going to go to jail. And so that is pretty much it. I, I can let you sit through the rest of this, but that is it's just a big, long circle. But what do I want to talk about? The girlfriend. Now, <laughs> guys. Men, fellas, gentlemen, I hate having to get on here and tell you guys, don't do something for this woman that you have your eyes set on. It. it this guy said it the best. He said, this sounds like some movie stuff. That's right. This ain't a damn movie. Life is not a damn movie. You cannot go tell your girlfriend you love her and then it's all going to go great and y'all going to have a family, y'all going to grow up and everything's going to be great. He's going to prison. Well, he's not going to prison, but he's going to jail for committing three felonies, which I will show you how he uh, bonds out. It's not as crazy as you think. But this man was willing to commit felonies for a girl. His car is going to be gone at least, unless he's got money on him, and I don't know. He's going to get impounded. But what do you think is going to happen? What do you, I mean, what do you, how do you think this thing is? Now, imagine yourself. You and your girlfriend break up and something like that. And you drive all the way across the state. You're driving crazy. Could have easily. And here's the thing that I, I left out. Here's, here, oh, this is going to get me a little bit heated. Calm down. This is what pisses me off the most. Is that he almost hit like two or three people head on. Head on. That's the whole reason the cops got called in the first place. Not because he was just speeding but because he almost hit somebody. And then he almost hit somebody head on. He could have killed people trying to go tell his girlfriend he loved him. This is not a damn movie. Somebody could have lost their lives with you going 103 miles per hour, flashing your damn lights on and off just to go see some girl. That's ridiculous. Men, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to make this serious, but it just it sounds so dumb. We cannot continue to do stuff for these women who probably do not care about us. I understand. If you really care for a girl, I understand. But the beautiful gestures and all that kind of stuff, this is not the way to go about it. I understand that we want to live in this uh, princess world, this fairy tale of you, you stand outside of the girl's bedroom with the boom box over your head playing some weird song. That's not how it works. You have to grow up and be an adult. Some point in this thing, he says he, that he is very childlike. He acts like a child. And I would have to agree with this. This man is acting like a child, thinking he's going to get to this girl and almost kill people to get to her. That's just so dumb. It's ridiculous. 
man, if you want to get to a woman, you want to talk to a woman, you feel like you need to work things out, this is not the way to go about it. Please don't show up to a woman's house unannounced. I understand there's some movie stuff where you think it's going to work, but that could also end very dangerous just like this. Because if people would have died for him trying to show up to his girl's house unannounced, it would have been very foolish and stupid. And it would it would have been so devastating for the family that lost people. So no, don't show up to a woman's house unannounced. You talk to them over the phone. You talk to them through whatever messaging app you have. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Guys, you will, man, I, I, you will not die without this girl. Okay, he would have died possibly trying to go for the girl. He wouldn't have died without her. He'd have been okay. Understand the pain of losing somebody, somebody you really care about. I lost a fiance, a girl I was madly in love with at some point in my life, but I moved on. So camera's giving me problems. I moved on and I'm living life now. I'm moving forward. But the point is, is it goes on. I understand that pain. I understand that, man. I remember crying like a little, like a little girl, man. Crying. I mean, yelling, crying. It was terrible. I was trying to see. But I would not go to this links. Man, we have got to stop acting so emotional. You know what? Go to the gym. You know, go get a job. Go to work. That's how you get through the pain. You don't get through the pain thinking that you're going to drive across country to go tell a girl you love her going 103 miles per hour and almost killing somebody. Please don't do this. Learn how to deal with it. Learn how to move forward. Learn how to deal with the pain. Now, let me say the other part of this. He said he was driving with the invalid license and he was afraid of the cops. And he was afraid of going to jail. So he did something that was going to cause him to go to jail. Guys, just get pulled over. Take your L. Take your losses. He would have hit the... The only reason he was getting pulled over is because he was speeding. If he hadn't been speeding, he'd have been fine. They probably wouldn't have pulled him over. But because he was going over 100 miles per hour that is the up where we are so gentlemen please please now let me show you how this ends which everybody does i don't know why i did this dog. Bro, i just made myself a criminal by doing it no matter what i say now i'm a criminal bro because now i look I'm like sure you're convicted, man. i know but it's like gee i just I, I i sound like a formal with you like i know you i'm sorry bro because I, I got white friends I look at you like that bro but i'm so real bro i should have just pulled over man yes, my dumb ass Man, this sad as hell, man. On oh God, this sad as hell, bro. I could have just pulled over and just took my honest license ticket, man. Kianis was charged with two felony counts of vehicle fleeing, eluding an officer. He received over $2,000 in citations and was released on a $1,000 cash bond. Later on December 28th, Kianis failed to show up to court and a warrant for his arrest was issued. So it's not as bad as it sounds. He got, he got out for $1,000. After almost taking some lives and running into people and going 103, mile, oh, 103 miles per hour, I believe, he $2,000 in citations. I know that sounds like a lot. That is a lot. But you know how the police department works. They allow you to pay this off in payments. Um, so he got off with a pretty easy, and he only ended up getting two felonies instead of three, even though technically he did three. Because he was in three different counties and three different officers were pursuing him. So, uh, but here we are. Was it worth it, men? <laughs> Is it ever worth it to chase a woman across country? No. Stop living in movie. Stop living in movie world. This is real effing life, man. This is real life. So quit living in this fantasy that you're always gonna be able to chase the girl, get the girl, and it's all gonna work out. No, you end up looking stupid, dumb, and end up in jail. Let it go. Move forward. Go to the gym. Go to work. Goodbye.